What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, we talk about Raekwon Davis, um, defensive lineman out of Alabama. The Miami Dolphins have just drafted him. Um, second round, 24th pick of the second round, and the 56th overall pick. And, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this guy. I think his floor is pretty high, so I think he's coming in pretty, pretty solid. I'm not sure where his ceiling is. I kind of feel like... He's already as good as he's probably going to be. He might get a little bit better, but uh, he's already pretty nuanced. It's just his athleticism is going to kind of hold him down a little bit. But um, he already somewhat plays like a veteran. So, you know, there's that. And the good thing about him, too, is, you know, the Miami Dolphins, we do a multiple style scheme where we do a lot of 4-3 and 3-4 like things. Um, but our 4-3 is kind of funky looking usually because it's... Um, Usually our edge rushers are still standing up, so some people would confuse that with a 3-4 just because our edge rushers are standing up. But it's not necessarily the case. It is still more like a 4-3 because you still have a defensive tackle in B-gap and a defensive tackle in A-gap. And then you got two edge rushers on the outside. That's still a 4-3 to me. And then you still got three linebackers in back, so that's still a 4-3. That's all that, you know. As far as a blocking scheme, like if you were going to, you know, if you were the center or the quarterback and you had to, uh, if and you had to figure out a blocking scheme right before the play and you've seen it like that, then you would recognize that as a 4 3 defense and move on with your life. A 3 4 is usually one, def one nose tackle right in a gap, and then you have two defensive ends, two gapping people. And then you have edge rushes on the outside, usually. So it's a little bit different there. Um, but we do a little bit, we do a little bit of both. And that's one thing. That's one reason I think we got Raekwon Davis. I think his best spot is a three, four defensive end. Cause I think he can two gap really well. He's got really good hands. He knows how to disengage quickly. He's, he's powerful at the point of attack. His hands are good. He really doesn't give up ground in the run game. Um, he, like I said, he's really good at disengaging and he can get to the running back pretty well that way. He's not the most, like, dominant pass rusher in the world, but he's definitely solid in the run game. And if we're doing 4-3-like things, he can play 3-tech just as well. So I think that's also why we drafted um, Christian Wilkins last year is because he can also play multiple positions. And I think the two of them together will be a pretty good matchup, honestly. Um, I'm not sure how much um, playtime Raekwon Davis will get year one, but... I think he's really good for the future. Like I said, I don't know exactly how high his ceiling is going to be. Um, I think he's probably about as good as he's going to get, but he's solid right now. And for where we got him in the second round, I feel pretty okay with this. I mean, he's a solid run defender. Um, not super dynamic by any means, but he will absolutely get the job done for you. So not upset by this pick. Um, I'm not blown. I wasn't blown away by it either, but you know, it is what it is. We got a solid player, so I'm not, I'm not mad. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.